Hey guys, what's happening? Rocky back from uh, Make Your Adventures. And on this week's tech video, we're talking about the LED rock lights that I have underneath our Taximantis. The brand that I went with is, and I may be saying this incorrectly, but um, Mick Tuning. Uh, that's M-I-C-T-U-N-I-N-G. And I'll throw a link and a picture of them um, in the video so that you'll be able to see that and be able to go to it. But I, I bought them off Amazon and they're about a hundred bucks for the kit. You get eight lights and it's actually Bluetooth capable. So once everything's installed on the trailer, you can sync to it with your phone and you can go in and you can change the colors. So it has, you know, an array of colors. Uh, you can have the lights flashing, you can have them flash back and forth between two, three, four, five, ten colors, whatever you want. Lots of options, which is super cool. A couple things real quick with install. Some of the things that I used, and you can pick these up at any hardware or uh, Home Depot, Tractor Supply, a lot of places like that. So when I ran the wiring underneath, I like everything to be neat and clean. I don't want to have wires hanging down. I want everything secured properly. So on the bottom of the Taximantis or whatever trailer that you have, if there is a wood or um, on our taxa here, they have a, a couple layers of plywood and it's, it's sealed off on the bottom so that that's not exposed, but there's a couple layers of wood there. So what I used are these little wire harness ties. So it might be kind of hard to see, but that's a little quarter inch. Um, sometimes they're known as a P-clip, just because of the way the shape they are. And some small, some small screws. So you put a little hole in the wood, and then you will run the screw right through that clamp, and it'll hold the wire on. And you can run them wherever you need to. Another option, if you don't want to do drilling, um, there's these stick-on, like 3M style zip tie clamps and you'll end up just pulling this off sticking them on the metal surface typically these work well and then you can just loop a zip tie right through and tighten it on that way so a couple ways of securing the wires and i'll show you pictures of that um, underneath the trailer and we'll also go through where you're going to tie these lights into underneath your taxa and how many lights you can put on there. Currently I have five on there. I'm gonna be installing the sixth one out of the eight. And I think that that's gonna be plenty enough. Um, you guys have seen pictures of the lights and, and some videos. So you tell me, uh, I think it's pretty bright. I don't know if you need to go any brighter. Uh, and you're, that's another thing actually in the settings, you, you can adjust the brightness up and down too. So if you don't want it super bright, you can dim the lights down a little bit get a little softer tone out of it. So let's get underneath. So for reference for you guys, I'm gonna turn it around, but underneath your step, um, you have a red light that turns on and off. So that will be mounted right, right up in here, underneath this lip. And it kind of gives you a red glow down to the step. So what you do is actually cut a couple zip ties and You'll cut the harness and you'll pull it through. And as you can see, pulled through, and I have a bunch of the wires zip tied up in here. And what that will take you to is I use some electrical buck connectors and I wired the, uh, the new lighting rock light harness right into that with the fuse that came with it. And then here's your box. I mounted this. This can go anywhere. This position right here, kind of, if I can give you a reference here, next to your gray tank, um, was a good place to be able to extend all the lights out to the four corners. And you have a couple different length uh, wires for the lights. So you'll have to pay attention to that when you open the box. But this is your Bluetooth module. It's waterproof, sealed, so you don't have to worry about anything. And then your connectors are just like this one right here. And that runs to your light. And then you can run your light wherever you need to. 
So for a reference, here is where I had to run a few of those little P-clips to be able to run the wire at a diagonal angle. And then here's an example of being able to run it across the frame rail right here and you can zip tie it. There's actually quite a few um, mounting holes on the frame rail that makes it very accessible to run wiring and secure it. Not too bad of getting things kind of wired in and mounted up right here. I spent a little time underneath the trailer kind of securing stuff but uh, a few zip ties, some of those p-clips and some screws and you can very easily secure all the wiring. So let's move over to one of the lights and you can actually see how that's mounted. All right, so here's the light mounted. And there are six basic mounting locations where it makes it really easy, where all you end up having to do is just drill the holes for the mounting bolts. And if you take a peek underneath your trailer, see if I can swing this around so you can see but there is actually a hole that this wire can run right through. So you don't have to drill the hole for that. You can just slide the harness through and then mark the holes for the two mounting bolts and drill those and then it bolts right in. Now the harness does have to run under the frame. I did not want to drill large holes in the frame for right now. Um, there might be a couple larger holes that I'll drill for maybe some additional lights underneath here if I ever want to do that. But for now, six lights on here is very bright. This is on the driver's side of the trailer, just in front of the tire. You can see where the hole is mounted right there. You can run the harness through, and then you just mark your mounting holes and drill those out. So once everything's wired and completed, your same switch right here, that would turn your step light on. You just flip that on and it puts all your power down to the rock lights outside, which is nice because inside there's no change to any switch panels or adding anything additional. It'll just function right off the factory switch. So I hope you liked the uh, install video. And if uh, anybody has any questions, uh, you can throw a comment below or you can reach out to us through our Facebook Messenger um, for any any install tips or any additional things that you had questions about. And like always, like and subscribe.